I was in a meeting once. <laughs> when the speaker stood at the pulpit and never seen an audience like this. He looked left, he looked right, and said thank you and sat down. <laughs> he left all the time to me. I begin with a short anecdote which illustrates the point I should like to make. A young couple, Lisa and John, moved into a new neighborhood. One morning while they were eating breakfast, Lisa looked out the window and watched her next door neighbor hanging out her wash. That laundry's not clean, Lisa exclaimed. Our neighbor doesn't know how to get clothes clean. John looked on but remained silent. Every time her neighbor would hang out her wash to dead dry, Lisa would make the same comments. A few weeks later, Lisa was surprised to glance out her window and see a nice clean wash hanging in her neighbor's yard. She said to her husband, look, John, she's finally learned how to wash correctly. I wonder how she did it. John replied, well, dear, I have the answer for you. You'll be interested to know that I got up early this morning and washed our windows. As our sons were growing up, our family did what you have done and what you now do. We had regular family prayer, scripture study, and family home evening. Now, I am sure what I am about to describe has never occurred in your home, but it certainly did in ours. Sometimes Sister Bednar and I wondered if our efforts to do these spiritually essential things were worthwhile. Now and then, verses of Scripture were read amid outbursts, such as, He's touching me. Make him stop looking at me. Mom, he's breathing my air. It must have happened in your home if you're laughing. Sincere prayers occasionally were interrupted with giggling and poking. And with active, rambunctious boys, family home evening lessons did not always produce high levels of edification. One of the things we learn from studying the growth of trees is that during seasons when conditions are ideal, trees grow at a normal rate. However, during seasons where growing conditions are not ideal, trees slow down their growth and devote their energy to the basic elements necessary for survival. At this point, some of you may be thinking, that's all very fine and good, but what does it have to do with flying an airplane? Well, well, let me tell you. <laughs> this has been a marvelous session. When I was appointed president of the church, I said, I'll take one assignment to myself. I'll be the advisor to the Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> I'm very proud of my choir. <laughs> my mother once said of me, Tommy, I'm very proud of all that you've done, but I have one comment to make to you. You should have stayed with the piano. <laughs> and so I went to the piano and played a number for her. Here we go, here we go to a birthday party. And I gave her a kiss on the forehead and she embraced me. <laughs>